Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. It's a hot and sweaty day here in Cartagena. We've been outside for about two minutes and I'm just dripping. We've had a bit of a setback. We've been here for a week and we promised we were gonna show you guys the city, but we ended up just hunkering down and getting some work done and then we were going to go out on an adventure, but then I ended up getting a little sick yesterday and I'm still feeling a little little off, but we're, we're leaving today, so I gotta get up and out. Yeah, so sadly, we didn't end up filming anything here in Cartagena, which is, yeah. we're really sad about and we apologize, but there's not much we can do. We had some bad weather and then he got sick. Today we have a little bit of time before our first flight, so we're gonna go get um, a little breakfast here, and then we're actually flying all the way to Canada today, so we're gonna go from the beach to, I believe, the snow, because yeah. last I saw, it's been snowing in Colorado. Yeah, we're stopping for a night in Denver. Did we say oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, so we're going to Canada, but we're stopping for a night in Denver. But then we are going to start our camper van road trip up in Canada. I don't know if we've said that it's a camper van trip. I think we mentioned it in a, one of our previous videos. Okay, well, if you didn't know, we're gonna be getting a Cats sweet out of the bag now. ass camper van and driving for a week up through the national parks. It's gonna be fantastic. Also, you may have noticed I'm wearing a hat. I've never really thought of myself as a hat person, but I always wanted to be mainly just to block the sun from mm -hmm. my forehead so I didn't have to wear so much sunscreen. But check this hat out. It says not wake up. Isn't that the funniest thing ever? He I had to have it. it when I saw it. He saw it in the store and just would not stop talking about it and kept putting it on and saying, I love this hat, I love this hat. So it looks pretty good too. Yeah. But I'm wearing it for now. I don't know how long it'll last, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> The city is so friggin' colorful. There's so much graffiti everywhere. This alley right here is covered in cool street art and all kinds of stuff. And there's also fruit vendors all over the place. While we were working, we did sneak out sometimes and we went out to eat and just kind of walked around the city, actually scouting stuff out to do for the video. So it is an amazing city. If you haven't been to Cartagena or Colombia in general, we're in love. We have yeah. been having such a great time here. But Guatape was super colorful and so is this city, but in a very different way. So we have been walking by this little arepa stand every day on the way to the grocery store and every day it smells so good and they always have a long line and so finally today we are trying it. So it looks like you can fill it with all sorts of amazing things. Lots of mostly meat and cheese, which yeah. is what I will be doing. And probably for me this is a bad idea because my stomach's been upset, but I'm <laughs> doing it anyway, damn it. For the experience, right? All right, we just got them, but they are molten, y'all. They have been on the grill for a while, so we're gonna let it cool down a little bit. There's a little um, vendor over here selling lemonade or li limeade, I'm not sure what you would call it, with limes, and it looks so refreshing, so I think we're gonna get that while we let these uh, cool off a bit. Una, por favor. All right, y'all, we have all the things. We have our lemonade limeade stuff right here. It looks really good. You saw the guy was squeezing them fresh in there. Oh my god, and there's so much ice. I love it. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. And then we got two different stuffed arepas. We've had a couple of arepas during our time here in Colombia. They're not the most exciting things. They're just kind of like cornmeal flat pancakes. But when I saw that you could get them stuffed with things, I thought that is absolutely perfect. It's gonna be like a taco, I think, or like a cornbread stuffed deliciousness. We asked her for the her two recommendations. So we got the mixta, which has, I think it's like pork and chorizo and chicken and eggs and cheese in there. And then we got the Colombiana, Colombiana. which looks like it has some uh, jalapenos and corn and chicken. I think some sausage, oh no, the bacon. It has bacon in there and cheese. Oh my God. They look and smell amazing and they have so many different sauces that you can put on there and they have so many different combinations so you can get any kind of arepa you could ever imagine. God, I'm so excited! Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh, that extra fresh corn in there makes the corn in the, uh, the arepa really pop. And then the jalapeno is nice. It gives it a little punch of flavor. Not very spicy though, which is great. And then I think there's some salsa in there. This is wonderful. I really like it because these can be kind of dry, but it's nice to have all of the goo in there because it really balances. So this is nice and crispy now. And then this is nice and savory on the inside. We're literally sitting on a street right now with all sorts of foot traffic, car traffic, car carts are coming, coming by. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. We have no tables or anything, so we're just kind of awkwardly sitting on the street trying to hold the camera in one hand, hold the arepas in one hand, but totally worth it because I think it's going to be pretty good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Ooh, it's real crunchy. Might need a minute. It took too big of a bite. It's pretty dry, but you have the cheese in there and like you said, all the goo on the inside but that really helps the dryness of the corn meal stuff on the outside. Oh man, it is super crunchy and so fresh and easily the best one that we've had. Of course, we've only had the ones that are literally just the corn meal stuff, but we haven't had them stuffed like this. So if you stuff a bunch of goodies in there, of course it's gonna be delicious. I think one of these were was 8,000 and one was uh, 12,000, I think, which is just a few bucks USD. So really not bad at all. And I think this is gonna do the trick. I hope it doesn't upset my stomach, but worth it. It is so hot out here. Before I take another bite, I've got to try this lemonade. It just looks so fresh and refreshing. Oh, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's tangy. It's tart. It's sweet. Not overly sweet. Absolutely perfect. I don't think I could ask for a better drink to drink right now sitting out here in this heat. <laughs> Give that a try. I'm That'll so put excited. you in a good mood. Man, maybe we should have gotten two of these. Yeah, we probably should have. That reminds me of being a kid, Dude, <laughs> like hot summer days and drinking lemonade. It's absolutely perfect. It's absolute perfection. It's so cold and I'm loving it. Yay! This was this under is, one USD. Yes, it Crazy. was uh, 2,000 Colombian pesos. Yeah. Best last meal, I'd say. I'm so excited. I think I won. If you come here, get the uh, arepa mixta because it is damn good. Yeah. Mine's yummy, but all the different meats in there, they're just cooked yeah. so well. Also, you can craft them however you want. You can add stuff in, so you could technically create the most delicious thing you've ever had. Yeah. But if you don't feel like doing all that work, rip a mix up. That is the one. For coffee, we have come to this little cafe called Bayou, which it might not be the most local. It's definitely a touristy uh, cafe, but they have some great Colombian coffee and all of their ingredients they source here locally. So even though it might not be the most traditional food, it's still super local and the coffee is absolutely superb. Oh my God, you guys, it is incredibly hot out there. Whew. I'm dying. I'm going to be loving the Canada weather and the Colorado weather when we get there. Jeez, I'm ready for it. My shirt is literally soaked through. It's so gross. But I guess we could give you guys a quick look at the place we've been staying. So oh, this is yeah. another Airbnb, but look how much room there is here. It's got so much artwork hanging. It's got this really cool tile floor. I think our host is Oh, our host is here. <laughs> yeah. False alarm, our host isn't here quite yet, but she should be here any minute. But uh, I just wanted to show this place off to you guys. But I was talking about how cool the floors and stuff are. Tons of Really interesting artwork around, some with uh, graphic nudity. <laughs> yes, but it keeps it interesting, yeah. right? As you guys know, we use Airbnb all over the world. It has been our primary source of accommodations. Yeah, I don't know how we would travel <laughs> without it, honestly. I mean, yeah. there are other sites, but we're just, Airbnb makes it so easy. It's been so fun. So if you have not yet signed up for it or looked into it, we'll link down below um, to the website. And if you use our code, you get a discount on your first yeah, day. Like up to 40 bucks. Yeah, it's really I cool. I think it changes a little bit, but it's around 40 bucks. It's pretty good. Yeah, but we highly recommend it. And let us know if you uh, end up... Oh. oh, our host actually is, she here, is but here. Yeah, anyway, link in the description. We're gonna head to the airport. mentioned it but we were actually staying in the Getsemane uh, neighborhood which is in the old part of the city our little area is a little bit outside of the the really old center where a lot of the tourists stay so it was a little more local feeling and less people we definitely recommend staying up there anywhere in the old city in the walled city is amazing but up there's a little less chaotic as I was getting out of the taxi I nailed the driver with the door <laughs> felt really bad about that but he was cool with it we are at the airport we're going to head through security. Should be a pretty easy travel day. We don't think we're gonna have seats together on the airplane, because you have to pay extra for that on the airline we're flying. Um, we're gonna have to decide if we're gonna pay for that or not, because it's gonna be 50 bucks for the two flights we're taking. I'm hoping we can finagle seats together so you don't have to pay. We're flying Spirit Air, which 
Might be one of the most budget airlines we've ever flown. I didn't realize. They say our seats don't recline and they're smaller because that means less maintenance, so that's cheaper fares for you. But really, it just means it's going to be a really terrible flight. Yeah. So stay tuned. We'll update you on how that goes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Security was a breeze, y'all. It was so easy. Custom security just yeah. won't go through. And we have some good news. They did end up giving us a seat together, which they yeah. promised us online we would not have a seat together. Yeah, so they, with this airline, they, you know, nickel and diming, like I was saying. And so it was 13 USD per person per flight. We have two flights today to choose your own seat. That was the cheapest. Mm -hmm. And that would have been 50 extra bucks, which is quite a bit. So we, I cut my fingers crossed. I got to the airport a little early. And it turns out not only do we get seats Ooh. together, but we have, I guess I shouldn't show that part. Um, a window seat. A would be a window seat too. So we, that means a lot better shots for you guys. Yeah, this is great. So we have yeah. a little over an hour to chill here. And, and we'll be off back to the good old US of A. Oh, back home. It still it's hasn't be weird. registered yet. Yeah. earlier when we were saying how they don't let the seats recline to save on maintenance well it turns out they don't really do much maintenance at all because my seat is broken over here in the corner and there's a bar right on my tailbone and I actually bruised my tailbone again when we were when I hopped into that cenote in Mexico so it's just pure pain on my end but yeah, then that seat cool. over there is broken too so what the heck I don't know yay savings We're back in the U.S. of A. In the U.S.A. baby. We are here. We've made it. Flight was super simple other than, as you saw, my seat was broken. I also had a tray table that was broken. It was just down too far. So Ooh. everything kept sliding off of it. But cheap fares. Yeah, right? cheap fares. <laughs> and we're going to be flying Spirit. So we're in Fort, I don't, I don't know if we said, but we're oh, in yeah. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we're doing a connection to another Spirit flight over to Denver. Denver. <laughs> Cannot wait to see what's broken on this flight. Yeah, and it's very warm outside, which we're not really going to get to feel, but then it's going to be very cold in Denver, I think. We've boarded, and uh, check it out. The plane is newer, at least the seats are. But look at this little guy that they give you. Is that a joke or what? Yeah, look at this underneath here. There's no actual yeah. thing, it's just... At least it's something, I guess, but yeah. what is it? What are you meant to do with this? It's nothing. Maybe you could set an iPad here. That's about it. We ended up getting a bunch of goodies. Um, I got a little protein pack because it sounded honestly just the easiest on my stomach because my stomach has been upset all day. This wasabi ranch is was a poor choice probably, but yeah. a delicious choice for him. And then Allison got a little cob, ranch cob salad here. My favorite kind of salad is one that you can barely see the lettuce because it's covered in so many other goodies. made it to our hotel and uh, I gotta say I was not feeling very good on that flight or after the flight. Poor guy. I, think I probably I'm pretty sure I got some kind of food poisoning um, two nights ago. We ordered some uh, Uber Eats and I got some ramen from some restaurant in town. <laughs> Columbia yeah, he got ramen. I don't know why but it was like the ramen from a cup of noodle thing yeah. um, so it was not very good and then that evening I woke up with these bad stomach cramps and they just haven't gone away over the last two days so I'm still kind of dealing with that. Sadly we have another travel day tomorrow but it'll be a quick flight from here to in Denver up to Calgary and then we'll get one more chill night in the city before we head mm -hmm. off on our adventure. And he's going to be feeling so good by then. Yes. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to say, good morning, guys. I feel great. It's going to be great. But I'm going to go to sleep. I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> really tired. Yeah. We'll see you we'll tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning. It is the next day. Surprisingly, I do feel a little bit better. He feels today. better. A Hooray. little bit. 
better. Well, considerably better, but I still feel a little bit off, but maybe by tomorrow I'll be like 100%. And now, supposedly a shuttle should be coming, oh, there it is, to yep. get us. Shuttle's taking right us here. back to the airport. We also managed to head to the post office and drop off our Patreon postcards. Oh yeah, we yeah. did everything today. We're yeah, so good. We're on good. the ball today. We've made it to Canada. This travel day is officially over. Travel days. Travel days, <laughs> yes. But uh, I think that we are going to end the video here because number one, we're just a bit exhausted and I think I probably need to edit a video tonight as much as I don't want to. Yes, because I do not think we are going to have much Wi-Fi or access to, to much of anything electronic wise on the road. Yeah, but you better stay tuned for our next video because we are going to arrive to our camper van that we're going to be taking around. This thing is brand spanking new. It's a brand new company that we're working with and they just renovated these things. And from what I've seen, they look like some of the coolest decorated, coolest designed vans that yeah. I've ever seen. Definitely so we can't wait to show it off. Super sleek. We did a camper van in New Zealand and it was pretty bare bones. It wasn't very yeah. flashy, but this one should feel like a tiny home on wheels. Yeah, it's and gonna I be like wait. glamping. I oh think. yeah. It's gonna be great. So we're gonna start our road trip tomorrow. We're gonna show you guys the van. It's gonna be tons of fun. But oh I think we're just gonna make our way to our Airbnb that we're staying in for tonight and then crash out and get some work done and then crash out. Yep. Really. Good night adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>